I started this vlog a couple of weeks ago, I had no idea it would develop into such a blockbuster. Blockbuster not only figuratively, but literally. If you're at all interested in the BC Museum, have a look at this amazing story. Worthy of a movie or at least a documentary, as you will see. In a jaw-dropping announcement made by BC Premier John Horgan, historic investment to build modern new Royal BC Museum safeguard the collection. Building a new state-of-the-art Royal BC Museum. Very importantly, seismically safe. And that was another reason given for the need for a new museum. You heard it. A new museum cost $789 million. The museum as we knew it will cease to exist as of September 2022 to reopen in 2030. By the way, that price tag of three quarters of a billion dollars would make it the biggest museum project in Canada ever. Your viewing travels with Lobo, and now with the completion of my 35-part series, Thailand from the North, from my hometown of Victoria, British Columbia. Remember, a vlog is published every Friday. In this vlog, I'll talk to you about the business case for a new museum, the public reaction, and how Premier John Horgan knew how to fold them twice. Of course, this was a question on everybody's mind. What was the business case for spending three quarters of a billion dollars for a new museum? In a report from the Globe and Mail, the following points were made that summarize the business case. The business case lays out the deficiencies of the current museum including that seismically unsafe for visitor staff collections and exhibits. The building contains hazardous materials such as asbestos, lead, mercury, and arsenic. The business plan shows $789 million for the cost of the building of a new museum on the current site in Victoria. Of that cost, $550 million was for the construction and an additional $239 million for other costs such as demolition, project management, and insurance. That compares to a 2018 estimate of $979 million to revitalize the current museum or $1.1 billion to make repairs, two options that were then dismissed, hence a new museum. Generally negative is a phrase one would apply to public reaction. In an article in the Times columnist, Les Lye summarizes it this way. The announcement looks today like a major misread of the public mood. People are desperately looking for family doctors spending a fortune to fill up their cars and coping with long-established housing crises while watching inflation trigger alarm bells. The NDP is struggling to cope with all that and more but has still found the time and money to set up a multi-year adventure to replace a 54-year-old building. Even more condemning, B.C. Liberal leader Kevin Falcon, who was sworn in on Monday as an MLA, quickly joined the pack. If elected premier, the project would be cancelled immediately, and that would be in two years' time. He described it as a ridiculous vanity project. Well, that's what any opposition party would have done. <music> Kenny Rogers' famous song, The Gambler, has that line, know when to hold them, know when to fold them, and that comes to mind when it comes to Premier John Horgan's next moves. In what only can be described as another blockbuster announcement, on June 22nd, as reported in the Vancouver Sun, Premier John Horgan cancels the new museum, saying, I made the wrong call. You gotta know when to fold them, and John Horgan read the tea leaves and realized that this would be a huge election issue in two years' time that they could not win. How many times can I use the word blockbuster? Well, I have to use it one more time because on June 28th, Premier John Horgan announces that he is going to step down as NDP leader. 
citing ongoing health concerns. Wow, what a sad story. Premier Horgan had been battling throat cancer, had been treated successfully, but once again decided to fold him, eschewing politics in favor of his family. He was a good premier. Sorry to see him go. Thank you for viewing this gripping story. At least I found it gripping. And uh, we'll see you next week for part seven, the last part about the museum, when I walk through the second floor that is still open right now. Thank you for viewing. Remember, a vlog is published every Friday.